genuinely struggled. That was, I think that was my hardest year, honestly. Mm -hmm. That was a that was year. Okay, too. But being a bi major, do you have the Okem too? For you? Yeah. yeah, that was the struggle. It was. Okay, Both was Okem was a struggle for me. Um, I collected my C's and. <laughs> so it's like thank you. Um, what else? What do we do junior year? Junior year, biochem. Biochem. Yeah. Biochem is so important, especially for this new so MCAT because important. It's, it's like heavy biochem. Mm -hmm. Like they incorporate biochem in almost all of the sections. Mm -hmm. So you really need to have like that comprehensive yeah. understanding of biochem. Mm -hmm. So pay attention to biochem. I had a really good biochem teacher. Mm -hmm. She actually wrote one of my letters of rec. Same. So like I would get to know your biochem mm -hmm. teacher. Um really try to do well in that class, try to pay attention and like really understand the material because it will make studying for the MCAT so much easier. At this point, junior year, you're taking upper division classes. Mm -hmm. So don't play games. Do electives too. I don't think I talked about that sophomore year. Yeah, but like, the course take club. those electives because I was really interested in African American history because mm -hmm. we had like the AFR department. Mm -hmm. So I took a lot of those courses, which kind of like balanced all of my hard science courses because mm -hmm. it was something I really like loved mm -hmm. to learn about. So I would just take courses that like are interesting fun, to you. interesting to you. That's that way true. you can kind of have that balance. Yeah. So on top of schoolwork, so yeah, we serious about that. Mm -hmm. Medical experience. Mm -hmm. This is when you, if you haven't been doing it sophomore year, your summer, your sophomore year, you're doing it now. You got to. Yeah. Because I, I was a medical scarf for a year. Mm -hmm. And um, we can get more into that in a video with our medical experience video in our series. Um, but yeah, what'd you do? <laughs> I'm like volunteer queen. So that's really what I did. Like, yeah. I was at everybody's volunteer this, that, every like festival, run, uh, health fair, <laughs> blood drive. No, true. I was there. True. So I feel like that was my thing because I honestly, like, we will get into more of this with our medical experience, but I didn't shadow very much because it was kind of hard to con to find doctors who would allow you to shadow mm. in Austin. Yeah. So um, I really didn't get much shadowing. Mm -hmm. um, but I was able to like volunteer at like mm -hmm. hospitals and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and like kind of like small clinics mm -hmm. I did. What else did I do? Just like volunteer. I feel yeah. like that was my thing because I wasn't a scribe. Um, and then my mentoring that mm -hmm. allowed me to like do a lot of things too. Yeah. But. So on top of, um, she said volunteering, that's very, very, very key. Mm -hmm. I did, um, I shadowed. I would say, okay, so San Antonio where I was at for undergrad, it was a little bit easier for me because I had a dermatologist out there. So I just emailed her. Not, well, I emailed her. After one of my appointments, I asked the nurse and staff because I was kind of scared of her. <laughs> like, I was like, does she, does she ever have like students shout out her or whatever? Because she had a private clinic too. It's also easier if the doctor has a private clinic because less rules, less like paperwork for them. Just that was a big in. thing, the paperwork. That's why, like, it was so hard yeah. to even volunteer at like a big hospital because there was so much paperwork, yeah. background checks. Yeah, they ain't trying to do all that. I was like, I'm broke. I'm a college student. Yeah. I got no money. So, like, that was harder. So, yeah, yeah. If you do know a physician or um, a doctor in your area. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, you have family members. Yeah. Just, like, just hit them up. Yeah. Them. I mean, if you have a health uh, professions counselor, office, yeah, talk true. to them. They can That's help very you true. Out. They have connections. <laughs> Excuse me. Go to your counselor. I like my counselor. Not a lot of people like their counselor. I like my um, counselor. My, no, my advisor. Um, she was actually well educated on what she was talking about. A lot of people, their counselors did not help them. So don't be don't let their, don't let your counselor be your crutch. Yeah. Do your own research before yeah. you go into the office for sure. Um, and try to find people who are in your major who've done it already. Junior year. Juniors or yeah, seniors. find those mentors. Mm -hmm. We didn't really mention that, but like find a mentor. Because freshman year, um, we had we were like assigned mentors mm -hmm. for this thing I was in. I so yeah, like mentor. definitely like try to find a mentor mm -hmm. who's trying to who is doing what mm -hmm. you want to do. That's true. It'll make it so much easier. That's very true. Study abroad if you want to that summer because yes, that's what I did. I went to Italy. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, so if you can't study abroad, if you can afford it, mm -hmm. then definitely do that. You can also like use one of your semesters to study abroad. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's like more of the like. It's kind of more cost effective to mm -hmm. do it like actually during, during the school year and not mm -hmm. in the summer like I did it because the tuition that you use to cover that regular semester, it will just go towards mm -hmm. your semester abroad. Mm -hmm. So you can like, you can even take some of those science courses like in a different country. So that'll be fun too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would definitely look into that because just yeah. that experience and like 
a different country, mm -hmm. different people, different perspective. I think mm -hmm. it's really helpful. And we so. mentioned your sophomore year, you either considering doing a leadership position or you getting into a leadership position. Junior year, for sure. Definitely do it. One leadership position, at least, minimum. Just one. One. You don't have to be Something. in everything. Just yeah. one thing that just you really thing. love, that you're really passionate about. If they ask you about it, you can talk about it for yeah. hours. So that's something that you definitely need to consider. Um, I don't know something else. It was um, MCAT. You need to study with MCAT at this point. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, we'll definitely have a series yeah, about MCAT stuff, about MCAT right. stuff yeah. medical school, so like, <laughs> um, in the future. So if you have, like, super, like, any detailed, detailed questions. questions, just email us. Um, but yeah, yeah, tune in for that video yes, coming soon. Really <laughs> so that's junior year. So, senior year. Yeah, you are ready to graduate. <laughs> You're like, oh, can I turn, turn up? Turn up, turn up. Turn up. Like, that senioritis is always real. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. Senioritis is it's real. real. I didn't want to do it. I had junior rightis low key because I was like, <laughs> I was junior I was just yeah. done. I was like, oh my yeah. God. But yeah, senior year is fun. It's really busy. Mm -hmm. But you still have to make sure like you're on your grind yes. and you're serious because you can't let your your grades slip. Yeah, your GPA that's slip. Very true. Because that's definitely possible. Yes. Cause, um if you have taken like most of your hard classes up to that point, use that time yes. to take easy classes. Like the way that I structured easiest. my last semester of senior year was a brief. Um wrap up all those, you know, leadership positions. Yes. Wrap up your research if you know. Recommendation research. letters. Yes, yeah, seek those. You should be talking to seek those very very yeah. early. We'll talk, of course, more about mm -hmm. that in like our application yes. video, our series. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so start doing that. Um, just enjoy it. Honestly, just enjoy it. Like, enjoy your last year. Your last. Cause that's your last year of college. Like, you'll yeah. never have those experiences again. Mm -hmm. So I would say, like, definitely enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I stayed in a lot. Cause I was just like, I was over it. What? But I did go out a yeah. lot too. So I would definitely like take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. Take advantage of the people mm -hmm. because it's not gonna be the same. Uh, I feel like that's after a good you thing. Graduate, like, after you graduate. Same. It's not the same. I was still used to seeing all my friends like every day, living with them. Like, yeah. but it's not gonna be like that again. So I would definitely take advantage of that. True. Take advantage of those relationships. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um, by this time, you should have started working on your personal statement. Um, if it's, you're going straight in, if you're yeah, if you're going straight in, don't finesse that. Like that's really concrete. Because let's say your senior year, you realize your GPA isn't that popping. Um, you realize that, you know, you're trying to struggle for shadowing still because you didn't listen to us. Um, <laughs> and, um, you feel like your, your application isn't, like, as strong. Your personal statement could honestly save you. You never know. It, can. it honestly can. Because you don't want to be wreck. average. Yes. You know, the letter of the wreck could, yeah. could definitely save and you. And that's why we keep saying, like, volunteer, get involved, because, like, if you don't have that stellar GPA, mm -hmm. then those are the things that can like bump you yeah. up or like separate you from other people. Yeah. Because like my GPA wasn't perfect, mm -hmm. but I was involved in like everything. I volunteered mm -hmm. all the time. Like mm -hmm. I did research. So like mm -hmm. that is what boosted me up yeah. to be a better applicant. Yeah. So I would try to like harp around the things that like you're good at. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, do that. Yeah, for sure. Numbers do matter. Unfortunately, yeah, yeah. they do. So you can't be average. You cannot be average. You don't want to be average. You don't want to be average. Like, you don't want to just get by and like just barely get in. Yeah. Like, There's no room for mediocre here, yeah. honestly. Because this is not a mediocre career. Nope. Like you can't be a mediocre doctor. Who wants their doctor to be mediocre? I don't. <laughs> so, <laughs> like for real, like you can't do that. So try to be above average, and that just means putting the best you out there. So that pretty much wraps up. The whole little spiel. Yeah. If you did it all in four years, congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. It is hard. It is hard. Now, we're going to go into our Drop the Gem segment. And... Okay, <laughs> you want to go first? Sure. So, my Drop a Gem would be to um, not compare yourself mm -hmm. when going through this journey to a med school. Mm -hmm. um, everybody's path is different. So, do not look at somebody else's path and be like, oh, but they're doing this and they already got this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Focus on what you're doing, on where you're at. Make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to do, yes. that you're good. And don't compare yourself to other people because everybody's not going to get into med school at the same time. Mm -hmm. I learned that. 
Um, people are going to have different grades. Mm -hmm. People are going to be involved in different things. So you just have to focus on what works for you and just make sure that you're doing what you need to do. Mm -hmm. Because when you start comparing yourself to other people, that's when you fall off. That's when you get depressed and just, you know, you start imposter doubting syndrome. yourself, imposter syndrome. And you don't want that to happen because if you know that this is for you and if this is God's plan for you, then you just need to Hello. keep your head on straight, keep looking forward, Come and on. you know what you need to do to get you to where you want to be. She is speaking so. the word right now. <laughs> So, so that would be my little <laughs> gem for this video. <laughs> okay, so my gem is I it got I got it for my devotional this morning, honestly. So if you guys can get a little word today, okay. Okay, come on now. <laughs> so it was it's not a scripture. It's just um, this lady named Kay Arthur. So her her own um, little quote in the devotional. So it said, if you will quit moaning and crying, God will make you into someone He can use to show others that no matter where they've been. No matter how deep the hole, no matter how painful the trial, there's hope. There is victory. So, <laughs> um, in other words, <laughs> basically, trust your journey. Like, you're going to have a lot of tests, but <laughs> you're going to get tested. Your faith will be tested. You and your purpose and your journey will be tested. There's going to be so many things thrown your way, so many battles you have to face. But you need to have a great support system around you. You need to be grounded in your faith. Do not, like, if in those times, that is the time where you need to turn to God, not away from Him. And that's what I had to, I'm telling, like, me speaking this to you guys, I'm saying it to myself as well. I, I battle with this all the time. So I would say turn towards Him when you need help, guidance, security. Um, he's always going to be there for you. So whenever you're going through something, don't complain about it. Use that and know that you'll always be victorious because you have God on your side. Amen. So, yeah. That's it for our long video. <laughs> I know, this is really, really long. Hopefully, it was really, like, I don't know. Yeah, it was very informational. Yeah. It was yeah. really informative. Mm -hmm. um, if you have any questions, like always, drop them in the box. Also, these shirts. Hey! <laughs> So, okay, so I got this shirt from my friend Sandra. She also has a YouTube channel, so you guys should definitely check it out. <laughs> check it out. We'll put her info in the, in the um, description box below. Follow her on social media. She's popping. She's also in medical school doing great things. Um, where'd you get your shirt from? Yeah, so I also got my shirt from, um, I think it's Strong woman like i don't know we'll put the, the website down <laughs> down it's below it's a crew neck too y'all so thick you know what i'm saying it's but they have they have shirts like this too mm -hmm. and they're from students at utb some friends mm -hmm. who i know they like came up with these awesome shirts mm -hmm. so i will also leave that website down below and yes. all of their information so go cop go support show yes, love yes for sure um, we just want to make sure that everybody gets some love out here and mm -hmm. that you guys can get as many different opinions as possible and yeah. take what you want from that mm -hmm. Um, so yeah. yeah, so we'll leave all that in the um, description box. Mm -hmm. Also, we're like getting our social media together too. So like, our, follow us on Instagram. Yes, yeah. at the chocolate docs. At the chocolate docs. <laughs> Twitter is chocolate underscore docs. And we're gonna like be putting more content and stuff on there too. Mm -hmm. So just give us time. Give us time. Give but us yeah. time. Um, what else? Email us at the chocolate docs. If you have any questions about um, at you anything. anything, anything, media yeah, advice, all those things. We will get back to you as soon as we possibly can. Um, drop a gem below for somebody yes. else today. Spread love, joy. Um, talk to someone about your faith. Just spread goodness to the world. Hopefully we made you smile today. Hopefully you learned something that you can share with somebody else. Um, we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.